Every segment of our beef industry works hard to maintain healthy cattle, and the stalker segment is known for the ability to manage stressed cattle exceptionally well. Brian Seltzer manages CPC Livestock in Kentucky, where they take in well over 100,000 head of stalker animals each year. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Matt Fleck caught up with Seltzer to get his insights into the key factors that contribute to the health of stalker cattle. As cattle step off the trucks and arrive at stalker operations, the animals are in a highly stressed state. To properly manage these cattle, producers must be diligent in providing care to create a smooth transition period for the animals. If we can get fresh feed, fresh water in front of those animals and get that nutrition in, into the animal, then the vaccines and those other things that we're giving the animal will be more, more beneficial. So, you know, first and foremost, we're going to talk about nutrition every time the, at, when the animal arrives at our place. The first thing we're going to talk about is nutrition. We need a, a high quality diet in front of them. So we'll, uh, we'll put a pretty high protein diet in front of them during the starting phase. Uh, try to get those animals up and going uh, and then in their grow ration at about 35 days. So uh, we're trying to produce an animal that is ready for the feed yard world, ready being healthy. Cattlemen in stalker operations have long recognized the need to properly care for livestock. Flexibility is the key since a busy stalker operation can take in thousands of animals a year, often from many different sources. An experienced manager will evaluate every aspect of the cattle's environment to ensure the animals reach their maximum potential. The little things make a big difference. So look at those things uh, that provide that animal husbandry that we all know as, as uh, cattle producers how to be good stewards of the land and take care of the cattle. But let's remember that that's so important, especially during the first 10 days of that stalker animal coming to your place. Understand if you're horseback or if you're on a four-wheeler, how, how you're caring for the animal. That animal sees you as a predator in the beginning. So he or she has to get comfortable with you and get, make the animal comfortable so that he will begin to settle into your place or she will be, begin to settle into your place and, and be a producer for you. Changes in the beef industry now require cattle to be transported over farther lengths than in previous years. More miles on the trucks means higher stress on the cattle. We are driving as an industry with relocation of animals, with procurement. Cattle are going over longer miles and so we're driving that health to be a bigger concern with some of those things that we're doing to ourselves. You know, we have the best products, continues to boggle my mind with how much better our technology is daily or, or yearly. We, we tend to come up with better products, but yet as an industry, we still see health as a concern. And that's part of what we're talking about is health. For NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen, I'm reporter Matt Fleck. For more on keeping your cattle healthy, visit www.ah.novartis.us.